This is the Nokia PureView 808. Now, what's incredible about this handset is that it's got an amazing 41 megapixel sensor for taking still images. And that sensor's there on the back. There's also a Carl Zeiss lens, so the optics should be pretty good. Now, we will never actually take a 41 megapixel photograph because not the entire one centimeter squared sensor will be used. But when you're short shooting in the 4-3 aspect ratio, that shot's going to be 38 megapixels. And when you're shooting in widescreen or with a 16-9 aspect ratio, you're going to take a 34 megapixel shot. Now, that photo is going to take up a lot of memory. The 16-9 aspect ratio shot at full resolution will take up about 10 megabytes worth of internal memory. Now the internal memory on this handset is 16 gigabytes, but that can be expanded to 48 gigabytes with the inclusion of a micro SD card. Now the whole point of this large sensor isn't to give you really detailed shots and huge files that you save, but actually be able to zoom in and take a larger shot initially and zoom in and crop later. Now you can work two ways. You can either take the full resolution shot and then zoom in, or you can use the pure view setting, which will do the zooming in before you take the shot so you don't save huge files. Now that's the equivalent to having a large optical zoom, but without adding extra bulk to the camera. Now this process is called oversampling because you take more than you actually need. Now in terms of the camera, you've also got a Xenon flash on the back there, which is better than an LED flash, and the camera can shoot full HD video at 1080p resolution. But it's not just the camera that's impressive on this device, the audio recording is also very good. The Nokia PureView 808 will record in stereo, whereas most handsets will record in mono. And it's also got a very broad frequency range and a high threshold for volume without introducing any distortion to the sound. Now this Symbian Nokia handset is going to launch in the second quarter of 2012 and when it does we'll be buying it and putting it through its lab paces to give you our definitive verdict. But looking at the photos today and listening to the audio quality we were very impressed. So for more information on this handset and full lab based reviews of others make sure you go to our website at witch.co.uk.